Hello and welcome to the review show, the one stop for the biggest releases in the LEGO community. Here's the contents of what's on offer, as I'll be first taking a look at Battle of Naboo 2 by ABCD123 Toast, and then moving on to the recent LEGO Boy 1234568 movie, 18 First Legion 3. Uh, be sure to tell me in the comment section if you agree or disagree with my views on each of the films. We start the show with LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars, The Battle of Naboo 2 Delta Squad by ABCD123 Toast. Uh, running time 10 minutes and 51 seconds and it's out now. There'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to go and see it. Battle of Naboo 2 starts right in the thick of the action leading on from its predecessor, but draws the viewer in effectively and quickly to what's at stake without real need to see part 1. Not of course that I'd discourage you from doing so. Uh, this is no mean feat, as the story stands out as one of the best seen in an all-out action LEGO Clone Wars flick, and has the visuals and scale to match its ideas. Some of the set design is truly cinematic, as is the use of camera angles and visual effects, but only a few obvious hiccups, and even they aren't particularly important. The music fits its purpose well enough, but as standard royalty-free tracks go, it's nothing extraordinary, it's often at far too high a volume drowning out conversations amongst characters and actually calling me to turn my speakers down on several occasions. The characters themselves are ably voiced and portrayed with enthusiasm and passion, although they suffer the same fate as the music on many occasions, just serve their purpose and need some obvious volume control. A standout performance would be Jonathan NG as the voice of Sev, who is definitely the most entertaining and authentic character, sticking close to its canon Star Wars roots with the characteristics you'll know well if you've played the Republic Commando computer game. The flaws are hardly unnoticeable, but they don't really matter when this film is clearly so cinematic and had so much heart and thought put into it, and it's just bloody entertaining as well. As cited by many in its own comments section, this is an epic Clone Wars film, and the best to gross YouTube in far too long a while, and has cited the guys at ABCD, etc, as a future force to be reckoned with in the LEGO Star Wars area. Roll on, Battle of Naboo 3. Four stars out of five. Our second review of the show is for LEGO Star Wars 181st Legion 3 The Final Chapter by LEGO Boy 1234567 8. Uh, running time 7 minutes and 10 seconds, it's out now and there'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to go and check it out. Where to start with LEGO Boy 128? The films of David Hall are perhaps the LEGO community's closest equivalent to The Twilight Saga. Really not great, uh, very poor critical acclaim, atrocious acting or voice acting, and yet somehow managed to be massively popular thanks to a population of devout fans who can't get enough of the sparkly effects and high production costs. This film continues that trend, but only just, as it's clear David is finally making some efforts towards originality and effort. Compared to previous instalments, the animation is slightly better, the plot slightly more convincing, the effects are a little more accurately portrayed, and the actual pace of the film makes a pleasant change from the tedious drip-feed approach of David's previous work, as the film moves along quite nicely, with only a couple of scenes where the boredom sets in. The real downfall of this movie, though, is the voice acting and dialogue, with enthusiasm to match Hayden Christensen from practically all of its casts, but largely from David himself. Some lines, such as a clone shouting, Hey, look, towards their rescuers from a brutal death, are uttered with the exuberance of an old man sitting on a park bench pointing towards a dead squirrel. As for the script itself, lines like oh, crap, it's or the stupid tin can droids took my information out of my helmet and now they're in a shuttle are hardly going to inspire a new generation of budding scriptwriters. In conclusion, this film is perhaps the equivalent to Eclipse of the 181st Legion trilogy. Not as bad as its predecessors and clearly made with more thought in mind. If you're a fan of David's previous movies, you'll probably have a rave with this latest installment. If not, I doubt this one will do it for you either. Closing in on a 3 out of 5, but doesn't quite cut it close enough. 2 stars out of 5. And that's it for this edition of The Review Show. I really hope you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more, let me know. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe too if you already haven't. Catch you next time.